Hey guys, so I'm back from New York. Today is Wednesday. I got back Monday. <clears throat> um, I did take a bunch of videos. I have not put them up yet because in order to put them together into one big video, they have to be a different um, file because my editing system will only take certain files. So I have to buy a converter because when my computer got erased, mine got deleted, So, which isn't that big of a deal. So, um, got to buy that, and then I'll get the videos up. Did end up going to see a show, saw The Lion King. It was amazing. It was fantastic. And I actually saw, or met, I went backstage, and I met the guy that played Scar. I met Nala, little Nala, and Sarabi. Um, yeah, anyways, so those will be up in a few days. What this is about is, yesterday I saw Carrie. Carrie, I think the original came out in 76, something like that. I've seen the original. I saw it a long time ago. It's almost exactly like the original. Um, Chloe Grace did a great job. Um, she was a really good, really good Carrie. Julianne Moore did really good. She was creepy. And... I've seen Julianne Moore in a bunch of stuff, and she's she was actually born at the same hospital I was. She's from my hometown. But this was the first time I'd seen her somewhere. She was just crazy, and... Hey! That's my cat. Um, so it was really good. Uh, people are... I've been reading reviews, and... Sorry, I gotta sit up. And people are saying they're upset because Carrie's not scary. Carrie's not scary. It's not a scary movie. It's not really a horror... Mm, I don't know. It might be a little bit of a horror movie, but in my mind, Carrie is a sad movie. It's more disturbing than anything, because when they dump the pig's blood on her, what she does to them, and how some of those people die, it's just like, oh gosh. Um, but in the end, it's a story about a young girl who was bullied and um, <laughs> sorry, my chihuahua was looking right at me and he's like falling asleep while he's sitting up. Um, and you know, she was kind of mentally abused at home by her mother who was overly religious, who thought that, you know, she had cancer when in fact she was pregnant and she was trying, she tried to kill Carrie the moment she was born. She took scissors and she tried to stab her, but, like, at the last second, she stopped. Um, she, she thought Carrie was from the devil, born out of sin. Um, and then, you know, having those powers to move things. Um, her mom thinking that she's a witch. And then having her mom try and kill her. Uh, sad movie. Um, very good. The graphics are good. Um, it does tend, it does follow the original. Uh, woo, the sun came out. Did you see that? <laughs> um, so yeah. It was really good. I definitely go see it again. Um, I did see a trailer for I, Frankenstein, which is from the same people that made Underworld. That looks really good. Saw a trailer for About Last Night. That looks really funny. That has Kevin Hart in it. Um, but yeah, New York was pretty amazing. Um, I'll do another video on New York. Different one. Just so this video isn't so long. So yeah, that was Carrie. Um, got any more questions about it? Let me know. Um... There are some slight differences, like, uh, I believe in the original, the gym teacher gets killed, Carrie kills her, because when the pig's blood gets dumped on her, she laughs at her. But in this one, she doesn't laugh at her, and, um, Carrie, you know, does a Darth Vader move and picks her up by the throat, and you find out, you realize that she's not trying to kill her, she's picking her up because she's standing in a puddle of water, and the power lines are snapping, and if so, if she had been standing there, she'd have been electrocuted. So she picks her up, and she moves her out of the way, and she lets her go. And also, the girl that plays Sue, 
the girl that's nice to her, kind of. Um, she's pregnant. I don't remember her being pregnant in the original, but she's pregnant, and that's why Carrie doesn't kill her in the end. Boy! I swear, he's like a toddler. She, like, Carrie, go uh, she, Sue goes to help Carrie, because Carrie just killed her mom. And Carrie holds out her hand. Boy! And she can hear, um, another heartbeat, and she says that it's a girl. And so she lets, she's like, get out, and, you know, throws her out of the house. And then the whole house gets, um, pulled under, like in the original. In the original, also, Sue goes back to the house, or where the house was, and Carrie's hand comes through the, the ground and pulls her down. Or not pulls her, but it grabs her arm. In this one, she doesn't go back to the house, she goes to a graveyard. And there's a tombstone, and I think the mom's name is Margaret. It says Margaret White, Carrie White, and it has like the dates, like 1995 or 1998 or something to 2013. I don't know. And um, uh, and then some people had written on it, Carrie White burns in hell with an arrow. And she went and she put a flower by it. She walked away, and then the tombstone cracks. Um. So that's that. There's no nudity in this. I don't, I don't know what it was. It was like back then, most horror movies had nudity in them. And it wasn't for anything sexual. It was just to show... Boy, you're irritating me. It was just to show the straight up... Um, I don't know, horror, I guess, of it. And vulnerability of the person. Because it was usually the victim. Um, and, hey! And so what ended up happening was... Instead of um, instead of her being naked, because in the in the original, she, Sissy Spacek is naked in the beginning when she's in the shower, and um, you know she starts her period and freaks out because she doesn't know what a period is. She thinks that she's bleeding and dying. Um, but you that doesn't happen with uh, Chloe Grace. Um, they even use almost the same dress, prom dress. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, she gets locked in the closet with the statue, um, pig's blood. You know, the, they're, they did update this in that when, when they're throwing tampons at her and she's on the bathroom floor crying and screaming because she's bleeding, uh, they video it with their, ca with their phones and then they put it on YouTube. Uh... And then when the pig's blood gets dumped on her at prom, that plays. They play the um, YouTube video. Yeah, it's it's sad. Um, I did have some doubts because Chloe Grace, first thing I ever saw her in, I think she was five or six years old, and she was in Poker House with Jennifer Lawrence and Selma Blair. And that's a very good movie. Um, Jennifer Lawrence plays a, I don't know, I think she... She was playing like a 13-year-old whose mother, Selma Blair, um, lived in a poker house. She was a drug addict. She was a, a prostitute. She had pimps. Um, and Jennifer Lawrence played her daughter. And Chloe Grace played her uh, Jennifer Lawrence's little sister. And Jennifer Lawrence gets raped, and her mother doesn't care. And it's it's a really good movie. Um, anyways, off topic. But Chloe Grace is so pretty. That it was kind of hard for me to believe that, you know, a girl, because let's admit it, as much as we don't want it to be, high school is about looks. You know, she's pretty. And so I don't see, other than the way she dressed, um, and just how, how her mother treated her. And her mother treated her bad, but I think at the same time her mother just scared her into thinking everything was wrong, everything was evil, everything was from the devil and you know being a woman was a sin because Eve tempted Adam Eve did the first sin and so being a woman was wrong and you know you shouldn't be a woman and blah 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 so yeah that's Carrie so if you have any questions just let me know